So this is the massive EDC collection giveaway, and this is the entry video. Make sure you watch until the end to hear all the details and follow the directions in the description. It's very easy to enter this giveaway. Now, let's check out exactly what one of you guys are gonna win because this is a massive giveaway. You're gonna get an entire knife collection, over 34 pieces, and a storage container, the Armada from Home and Hadfield, which is their most expensive, more and most luxurious piece that they have. Um, it, it's a gorgeous way to not only store your EDC, but also to display it. So there's 34 pieces inside this box. We Knife Co, Civivi, and Sed and Cut sent over 21 of their knives. And we have the storage container from Holman Hadfield, who you know, put this together with Wee, Civivian, Send Cut. Now, like I said, I threw in a bunch of stuff from other companies that we're gonna go through as well, and we will shout those companies out. But let's check out what's inside. Go. Yeah, make it look, make it look, make it look easy. Hey, stand up guy, boom, 10 toes. Big body pull up in a Range Rover. I can change the whole game when I say so. I pull up, shut it down, yeah, they know. Running this game ain't a thing for me. I never switched up, no change in me. The only thing changing this season, you go against me, then you know that you tweaking, okay? So let's check out the bottom drawer. As you can see, there's lots of storage places. There's a felt bottom on this. And this thing, this little sleeve does come out if your knives are longer than this size. But let's check out all the Elementums that they sent because we have an entire collection of Civivi Elementums. This is the D2 version in orange G10. This is an amazing knife, a very popular knife. There's a reason why they have made so many different versions of it. Then we have a button lock version in Nitro V. A deep hollow ground spear point blade, black G10 scales, Civivi, Sun Cut and Weed do an amazing job with their button lock action. Then we have a green button lock version also in Nitro V. Then we have another uh, black G10 version. This one's in D2. And then another button lock version in Nitro V in Jade G10 or Natural G10. Listen to that sound. Beautiful sound. Then we go to the banters. We do have some more Elementums, by the way. We'll get to those in a second. So then we have the banter designed by Ben Peterson. This is um, an awesome EDC piece. It, it's not a big knife, but what it is, it's like a perfect size. Full four finger grip, comes in lots of different versions. This one's the green micarta and S35VN version. Then we have the green G10 version with the, the gold thumb studs, which the thumb studs and hardware are titanium. S35VN. Then we have the uh, the Ben Blue. If you guys know Ben Peterson, you know about his Ben Blue. So this is um, the Blue G10 with the black studs and S35VN blade steel. And then we have the black version with the blue thumb studs. I love this one. I love that little pop of blue. I think it just looks gorgeous. Um, this is an awesome, awesome piece. Now we do have one more of these that we're gonna get to here in one second. For the top drawer, we will check this piece out here in one second. That one's a little special. Um, then we have some more Elementums, the black uh, micarta one in D2 steel. This is just an amazing pocket knife. Um, you know, this is like one of the best gift knives you can get somebody or yourself. Then we have an orange G10 version, this time with the satin finish because the other one was a black coated version, D2 steel. Then <clears throat> I threw in, here's, this is one of the knives I threw in. Uh, this is from Kaiser. So shout out to Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Towser K in their Serape uh, Micarta, I think it is. Um, it feels like G10, but I think they call it Serape Micarta, but either way, beautiful, beautiful handle material, and it does come with a dog tag and a bead in the same material. 154 CM blade steel, and look at that. It's like a damn guillotine. Just absolutely ridiculously smooth. Then another Kaiser. This is the, the gavel. So the gavel has a very tiny flipper tab, as you can see, you can barely see it, but it works really, really well. Good access to the lock bar. We have brass bolsters, burlap micarta scales, 154 CM blade steel, 
titanium milled pocket clip and then a micarta backspacer. So shout out to Kaiser again. And now back to um, Civivi, Sen Cut, and Wii. So this one would be a Sen Cut. This, in my opinion, is the best budget knife you can get under 50 bucks. This is the Serene. And it's incredible how valuable, like, the value of this. You have solid aluminum handles. They're solid, no milling in them. So they're very, they feel very, very tough. Then you have D2 steel with an amazing, amazing button lock action. They do some of, if not the best button lock action and you know, just overall quality button locks uh, on the market. Then we have a black version of the Serene. So we have actually three Serenes. We're gonna to get to one more here in a second. But again, man, beautiful knife, black aluminum, uh, D2 steel, deep carry clip, multiple forms of deployment, very slicey. Then we have one of their Sakshi models. Um, this was the best budget knife before the Serene came out. So this one's also an amazing knife. You have a spear point blade and 9CR18 MOV steel, black G10, their button lock action, multiple forms of deployment, um, deep carry clip, awesome, awesome knife. Then I threw in a couple pieces from Olight. So I threw in a titanium bead, so if you guys like lanyards, then I threw in an Otakle, which is a little utility blade that you know you can EDC so you don't have to use your edge on nasty stuff. You can just use your little utility blade and replace the blade when you want to. Everybody needs one of those. And then I had to throw in a light because you know it's an EDC giveaway, so we had to give you a, a light. So this is the i5 REOS from Olight. It's one of the special edition ones. You can see it's got the blue. They have all different colors of this, you know, and they run different specials, you know, depending on the season and things like that. But really a good light to have. It's 350 lumens at the brightest. Then I threw, I had to throw in a fixed blade because, you know, you can't have an EDC collection without a fixed blade. So we have the, ca the ca cabas, I think it's pronounced, with black micarta scales, with a karambit ring, so you can uh, swing it around or you know carry it a little bit more securely. But you don't need to put your finger in the ring. You can comfortably hold it like this. It has a flat ground blade in D2 steel, and this is also from Kaiser with a Kydex sheath. Nice, snappy Kydex sheath. Then. We have two more Elementums, the Mini. This is the Micro Elementum. This is the copper one. So you wouldn't think this thing would have as good an action as it does. It's super snappy. So we have a steel lock bar side. It's got a satin finish on the copper scales along with a hand satin finish on the blade to match and on the lock bar side. So it looks really cool with that satin finish all the way across. And then we have another version, the exact same thing. And these are in 14C 28M blade steel. This one is just with a brass show side. Same brushed finish, same hollow ground spear point blade, and amazing snappy action for a little micro knife. Uh, it does come with a keychain to put it on in the box. Then, What's an EDC collection without a good wallet? I'm gonna show you guys um, a picture of the wallet I carry, which is this same wallet. I've just carried mine for a couple years. This is a full leather wallet. I personally love leather, but what's really awesome about this is one, it's slim profile, but then this Polk tab. So you can easily get to your cards just by pulling this tab. They will slide right up so you can get to them individually so you're not fumbling around trying to squeeze your hand in there and pick which card. Um, you have an outer pocket right here, but good quality leather. Shout out to Andar. And then I th had to throw in a key bar because, you know, most of you guys or most of us carry keys, you know, whether it's for your car, your house, your shop, your garage, whatever. This is a way to carry your keys kind of like a pocket knife in a way. It does come with a clip and you can, you know, you can carry other tools. If you don't know about key bar, go watch a video on it. These are USA made and there are so many little tools and things you can put inside these. You know, you can put knives in there and they have like little pry bars, all different kinds of little tools along with the keys that you carry. It's a great way to carry your keys. And then let's check out what was in this case right here. So. 
Shout out to Jim Skelton because he did send this to me and this is his knife design with Tuya. This is the Scapoid and it is an S90V blade steel with a crazy wicked Tonto blade, beautiful satin finish, titanium frame lock, carbon fiber inlays on both sides, titanium mill pocket clip, you can see his logo right there. Then you have a hidden lanyard tube in the back. Super snappy detent, and yeah, it is a dual ground blade. This is a, you know, a pretty expensive piece. And then we get to the top of the box. You open up the acrylic top, and then here you have a whole bunch of knives to display. Now, you can use these to store your watches on as well. All of these, you know, you can put your watch right over. So this is a way to not only or display your beautiful knives, but also your watch collection. This is, we have a couple more Elementums. This one is the green micarta one in D2 steel. Again, the Elementum is an amazing piece. I have uh, many different versions. There's so many different options from the Elementum. Um, then we have a green micarta Elementum in D2 steel. Lots of Elementums. These are riding on ceramic caged bearings. Deep carry clip. Then we have a Vosteed Thunderbird. So I threw this in. Uh, Vosteed did send this to me. So shout out to Vosteed. This one's in M390 steel with this multicolored G10. You have so many forms of deployment. This thing has, let's count. We have one, two, you got the whole three. Well, you can do it in two different ways. So four, then you have the fuller five. You got the button flip. There are so many ways to deploy this knife. The detent's a little bit on the lighter side on this one. I think the titanium one was stronger, but technically you can always tune these a little bit stronger if you want to uh, take it apart and stretch the spring a little bit. It does have a deep carry inset clip, dual ground drop point tanto blade, and yeah, Beautiful, beautiful piece. This one comes in a lot of different options as well. We had to throw in a gentleman's knife. Everybody needs a nice gentleman folder. I personally like modern gentleman folders. So, and this is what I would consider a modern gentleman, gentleman folder. This is the Concept AGI. So shout out to Concept. They did send this to me. We have S35 VN blade steel on this beautiful drop point blade with a stonewashed coated blade. And then we have copper carbon fiber with a black titanium frame lock with a titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer with flipping deployment. It has a good detent with good access to the lock bar. And you know, this, like I said, this is a compact little gentleman's knife, but you know, you never know when you need to go out, you know, on a date or out somewhere and you need to have, you know, something, something a little nice on you. Then this one, Technically, I threw in, We Knife Co. sent this to me a while back. Brand spanking new. None of these knives are used. These are all brand new in the box, but this is a special piece. Um, I wanted to throw in something really special for you guys. And, you know, I, obviously, you know, we already looked at the Tuya Scapoid, but this is the We Knife Co. Riff Raff. And damn it, this is a good one. Listen to this detent. It has such a clicky detent, 20 CV harpoon clip point blade, titanium frame lock, titanium milled pocket clip, and backspacer, look at that backspacer. Cool looking backspacer, phenomenal action. Thumb studs are really comfortable. Uh, detent is tuned to perfection. This is an awesome little piece right here. Just this piece alone it is pretty expensive. So let's check out the next one. Now, the next one, is from Remet. Remet heard that we were doing a giveaway and they wanted to join in. So they sent over one of their models. Now, Remet is pretty new, but man, they are coming out hot. They are making banger after banger and doing things that most companies do not just start off doing. So that's really awesome to see. Like for an example, this one right here, if you notice, it doesn't have any hardware, right? No hardware. Well, the entire knife can be uh, taken apart with the backspacer. So you just pull that tab right there, that pops out. And then this is how you take it apart. 
You can unscrew the pivot right there and then take the knife completely apart all with the little tool that is provided from the backspacer. So that's really awesome. So you have everything you need to maintain your knife with just the knife, the knife alone. Um, so it has an M390 uh, drop, eh, it's a it's a Tonto blade, but it's a wicked Tonto. We have a big, big front nose, uh, big belly, and then a slight recurve. This does work really well because the, the top, um, the tip points down a little bit, so it's really good for utility cuts. Uh, titanium frame lock, and it has this thumb disc or thumb stud action that works really, really well. Detent is very well tuned, great flipping action. This one's also on ceramic caged bearings, very smooth, titanium milled pocket clip, you know, and then the backspacer tool is also titanium. Then we have another Sakshi. This is the Black Micarta one, and this is 9CR18MOV. Like I said, they do such a good job with their button lock action. Um, deep carry clip. Great thumb studs, multiple forms of deployment, just an all around great EDC knife. Then we have the final Serene. Uh, remember I said there was three of these. So you have red, blue, and black. So this one's the red one in D2 steel, solid aluminum scales. Like I said, this is the best budget knife you can buy. They have about like two other knives that, you know, are, are just as good as this, if not, you know, um, right there with it. That, uh, that I also recommend, but this is just, this is one of their best pieces for the money. Then we have the final banter, which is the Wee Banter in wooden scales. So we have the beautiful wood with the black accents and the gold thumb stud. Phenomenal thumb stud action. This is just an overall great work knife, great EDC. S35VN blade steel, super smooth, deep carry clip that is reversible inset with flat screws and then obviously the beautiful display case that you know we've been looking at the entire time we have the two drawers lots of different uh, places to store and different ways to store you know this big part right here you could store a firearm if you wanted to you know you could store a lot of different things in this and you know like i said you can put the watches on the top beautiful beautiful piece and it keeps them nice and secure they do have a leather mat that they're coming out with you know in the future that can lay on the top of this which will be really cool so let's talk about exactly how you enter and when we're going to pull the winner so the winner will be picked in seven days i'm going to do a random giveaway so you're going to have seven days to enter it'll be the following wednesday and on that wednesday i will do it live so you guys will be there when i pull the winner so you know there's you know there's um you know it's an honest giveaway so i will not contact you through the comment section there's bots or there's scammers. There's all kinds of people that will look like me. They will have my thumbnail. That's not me if they told you you won something in the comments. So just know that you will be contacted through your email because you need to one, like this video. Number two, make sure you leave a comment. Number three, there's a link in the description. Click the link and then fill that out. All you got to do is put your YouTube name. So make sure you put your YouTube name so we can match it up when we pull the winner and your email to get a hold of you. So email and YouTube name link is in the description for you to click and fill out. And then, like I said, leave me a comment so that I can pick one of you guys as a winner with the comments because I'll do a random comment generator. Again, I want to thank you know, the, the, everybody who joined in on this, you know, uh, Holman Hadfield putting it together, we Civivian set and cut for throwing in so many knives and, you know, the other companies that we shouted out, um, you know, Kaiser, uh, Concept, Vosteed, Remet Knives, um, Andar, Keybar, Olight, all these companies, you know, have sent me things and, and has given me the ability to give them to you guys. So yeah, shout out to all the companies that make this possible because this is the best community. And of course, we're able to do things like this because the community is so awesome. This is the best community ever. And, you know, it, it's amazing to be able to not only give away something like this, but for one of you guys to win. And one of you guys are going to win in seven days when I pull the winner. Make sure you follow the directions I mentioned and in the description. Good luck to everybody who enters. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.